Are you the kind of person who likes to break down different kinds of equipment into pieces and then put the parts back together? If yes, then this video is especially for someone like you. Presenting one of the newest and most versatile and multidisciplinary courses for students in engineering today. Welcome to College Suggest. Let's take a look at Mechatronics Engineering, a multidisciplinary course that is interesting, exciting and really makes your resume stand out. Click on the subscribe button and the bell icon to receive notifications on your favorite colleges with information, college comparisons, courses, careers, and so much more. Mechatronics is derived from the words mechanical and electronic. It is a discipline that combines mechanical engineering concepts with computer science and control theories to create new products with enhanced adaptability and efficiency. Mechatronics Engineering deals with smart devices with artificial intelligence to implement, create and test new and existing systems. Mechatronic Engineering is one of the newest branches of engineering and has been developed to fulfill the growing need for engineers with multidisciplinary knowledge, skills and expertise. It is a novel field which offers students great flexibility and job options post their graduation. So what exactly does a mechatronic engineer do? Mechatronic engineers integrate mechanical engineering with electronics and computer systems to design and construct intelligent products and processes. Mechatronic engineers are integral in the development of new technologies. For example, car brakes. The design of a car braking system has been improved over time, making them better, more responsive and safer. Modern sensing, actuation, computing, and control technologies have made braking systems more advanced and responsive, delivering the greatest braking power possible. Simply put, mechatronic engineers mainly find new ways to make systems and processes smarter and better. The main duties of a mechatronic engineer are developing new solutions to industrial problems using mechanical and electronic processes and computer technology. Designing and building new products by integrating various technologies, for example, developing robotic vehicles for underwater exploration. Maintaining and improving previous industrial and manufacturing processes and designs, for example, robotic lawn mowers and robot floor cleaners. Designing high technology engineering systems for the automation of industrial tasks. Applying advanced control systems, which are usually computer driven. Applying electronic and mechanical processes and computers to tasks where the use of human labor may be dangerous, like underwater exploration, mining, or forestry. Studying the feasibility, cost implications, and performance benefits of new mechatronic equipment. Carrying out modeling, simulation, and analysis of complex mechanical, electronic, or other engineering systems using computers. So how do you become a mechatronic engineer? The best way is to study a Bachelor's of Engineering in Mechatronics Engineering. It is a four-year undergraduate multidisciplinary study of the engineering field. Instead of the conventional divisions of engineering, it joins Mechatronics Engineering, Mechanical Engineering, Computer Engineering and Control Engineering subjects all in one course. The course provides a broad-based education in the basic principles and electives that cover areas including engineering analysis and design, engineering mechanics, dynamics and automatic control, signals and communication, electrical hardware, and computer software. The course covers topics like electronic engineering subjects, mechanical engineering subjects, material science subjects, computer science subjects, system subjects, control engineering subjects, optical engineering subjects, robotic subjects, MATLAB, LabVIEW, Simulink, SOLIDWORKS, and C++ code and programming languages. Here are the criteria to study this course. A good background in basic science subjects, with a minimum of 50% in physics, chemistry, and mathematics from a recognized board. Merit scores in entrance tests like IIT, JEE, BITSAT, and All India Engineering entrance exams, followed by a round of counseling. Students can further pursue a master's degree and or further research studies and specialized courses depending on their interest and field of work. The next question on the mind of a student is, of course, where to study to get the best job prospects. Some of the top colleges and institutes to study mechatronic engineering in India are IIT Madras, IIT Gauhati, National Institute of Technology, Varangal, Velour Institute of Technology, Velour, 
Narsi Monji Institute of Management Studies, Mumbai. Amity University, Noida. Manipal University, Manipal. And some of the universities that offer interesting programs overseas are Konas University of Technology, Lithuania. Fontes University of Applied Sciences, Netherlands. Sabanchi University, Turkey. Izmir University of Economics, Turkey. Oregon State University, USA. Hans University of Applied Sciences, Netherlands. Savonia University of Applied Sciences, Finland. So what can you do with a mechatronics degree? The answer is almost anything you want. There is immense scope for mechatronics engineering in the present scenario, especially in various industrial applications. A big advantage of studying the course is on completion, students can have the choice of working in the field of mechatronics or in other areas like electrical, systems, computer engineering and so on. In fact, it has been identified as a high priority occupation with rapidly expanding job opportunities. Industries seek to apply evolutionary advances in computers, electronics, sensors and actuators to improve their products, processes and services. Here are some examples of industries where mechatronics engineers can work. Manufacturing Industrial automation Robotics Aerospace Computer simulations and modeling Gaming Engineering design Propulsion systems Control system Technology and defense what are the job opportunities for a mechatronics engineer? The big three in terms of industries are manufacturing, automotive and medical employee, which have the maximum number of mechatronics engineers. Also, other fields that depend heavily on technology hire these professionals in big numbers. Due to this field's novelty, you won't find the word mechatronics often in job postings. The nature and scope of jobs are quite flexible and diverse. The emergent mechatronics field offers trainees a broad range of career options with higher than average starting salaries. Employment of mechatronics engineers is projected to grow by 17%, faster than the average for most engineering occupations. After completing the course, one can get a job as a systems engineer, robotics engineer, software programmer, electronics technician, project engineer, mechanical design engineer, controls engineer, electromechanical engineer, mechanical modeler, or a simulation engineer. Companies across the world and in India are looking for experienced graduates, but are hiring freshers as well. Research is an important area that many can get into after completing this course. Postgrad candidates also can get into the academics field. Government sectors are also hiring in big numbers. The role of mechatronics engineering has become indispensable in the engineering industry. Opportunities also exist for graduates to start their own companies early in their careers. Mechatronics engineering is the place to be for those who are ready to take on challenges and solve complex problems. Some of the top recruiters for mechatronics engineers are Honeywell, Tata, Hyundai, Mercedes-Benz, Amazon, Pfizer and IITs are also hiring graduates as academicians. Next comes salary. Mechatronics engineers can get a higher than average salary depending on their skill set, experience and education. The highest paid mechatronics engineering jobs require substantial prior experience and or a postgraduate degree. A fresher in this field can earn an average salary between 2 to 10 lakhs a year. Graduates and postgraduates that are hired in various capacities can earn 2 to 3 lakhs a year as supervisors, 3 to 4 lakhs a year as analysts, robotics test engineers and application engineers, and 5 to 6 lakhs a year as researchers. The average salary for a robotics technician, according to Recruiter.com in the US, is $51,600 per year. Summing up, the top reasons to get a mechatronics degree are multidisciplinary skills, combining a broad range of skills in mechanical engineering, electrical engineering, computer science and control systems. It's like earning three or four engineering technology degrees all in one. High impact jobs that are expected to grow rapidly in the next 10 years. The US Department of Labor has identified mechatronics as an emerging field that will be both high priority and high impact. Hands on labs. Students put theory into practice in state-of-the-art labs working with components, systems and technology that today's professionals are working with in the field. Resources and equipment. 
working with high-tech equipment like 3D printers, robots, and the latest generation of computers and software. Applicable skills. Students learn how to build, repair, program, and maintain smart machines and controls. The skills any employers would look for. Good paying jobs plus high starting salaries. Freshers start off with high salaries and the growth is rapid. A resume that stands out. Employers and hiring managers with a broad engineering and technology base and the ability to apply that knowledge to solve real world problems. The combination catches the eyes of employers. Many students may ask, mechanical engineering versus mechatronics, which is the better choice? The answer completely depends on an individual's end goal. Mechanical engineering courses train you to find mechanical solutions and become an innovative thinker, whereas mechatronics will give you a broad view on how to build and connect components like control systems or microprocessors and will introduce you to the world of futuristic technology. As a mechanical engineer, you will know everything that is related to the purely mechanical aspects of machinery, equipment or device, while a mechatronic specialist knows a little bit of everything that involves creating that same system. So how do you decide between the two? Since both fields are quite similar, the final decision comes down to this. What are you more inclined towards? Towards learning and dealing with the logical tasks of mechanical engineering? Or would you like to go beyond the principles of mechanics and make devices smarter? Which is the career for you? If enhancing existing processes or creating smarter options for existing systems is what excites you, then this is what you should be doing. Whatever you choose, it is finally hard work and application of the knowledge and skills you get from your course at the workplace that enables you to do groundbreaking things. What other interesting course details would you like to see? Let us know in the comments section below. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and for more information, visit collegesuggest.com.